Hello, my beautiful Cancer. Ooh, ooh, I just saw what that was. But we're going to talk first. So we're going to look at your new moon cycle here. Like, So we're looking at the beginning of the cycle. Uh, the new moon is going to be November 26th here in the States, uh, depending on where you are, which hemisphere. I think it changes. I, you know, I really focus on what's going on <laughs> where I'm at, and I really don't get out there much to think about, you know, what the possibility is, but I think it's on a different day depending on where you're at. So I could be wrong. Somebody will correct me. That's the internet. That's what happens. But we're going to look at your new moon energy. So we are looking at the beginning of the cycle, what intentions to put out there, um, and, you know, like how we're, how we're going to start this one off right. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Melissa, and I do Zodiac Tarot readings based on the new moon energy and the full moon energy. So today we're looking at the new moon and then we're going to look at the full moon um, right around that time to see what kind of comes to a peak. The full moon is the peak of the cycle. So whatever um, is has grown from your intentions that you set in the new moon, um, what you can do with that and also what you need to let go of that maybe didn't manifest for you and, um, you know, so that you can start over on the next new moon. So sometimes you got to release some stuff. Uh, but that will be on the full moon reading. So right now we're looking at the new moon. Um, and we're right before Thanksgiving, if you're here in the States as well. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. All right. Cancer. What does Cancer's new moon energy look like? Okay. So the one that popped out while I was shuffling and talking is the High Priestess. So we're looking at intuition, clearly, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so I feel like, ooh, I like this. I like this for Cancer. Okay, so we have intuition, and then we have the Nine of Cups, which is very, very emotionally satisfied. It's feeling emotionally content. It's not like, okay, so the Ten of Cups would be like the happiest card, the happily ever after, the you know, the white picket fence and the 2.5 children or whatever and the pet dog. Um, we're, this is more about yourself, okay? This is being satisfied with yourself and feeling like you're taking care of yourself. Um, and again, back to the intuition, right? So I feel like this is really, this cycle <clears throat> for you is you taking care of your intuition, nurturing your intuition and feeling content with, um, how you trust yourself and how you see yourself. And, you know, this is definitely about you going with your gut. All right. Um, as a cancer myself, I would say we are one of the more intuitive signs. Um, so having the high, high priestess come out right off the bat, Definitely, I feel like we're we're getting some messages this cycle. We're definitely using our intuition to um, take care of ourselves for this. So definitely identifying with that right now. Definitely. All right. Do we have, let's see. I'm going to finish that shuffle while I rephrase my question. What does cancer need to know about this upcoming cycle? What does Cancer need to know about the cycle coming up? Three of Cups reversed. Funny story, um, I flipped all of the cards right side up because I don't do reversals with this deck. It just doesn't feel right for me. And then, like, so I put them all face up, did a reading went and shuffled them and the shuffle went like that and like all the cards got mixed up and I was like okay so clearly you want me to read reversals now so three of cup reversed all right what else does cancer need to know what does cancer need to know about this upcoming cycle nope yep, that was reversed I'm so used to flipping them back around oh my goodness Okay, so what does Cancer need to know? Cancer needs to know the Three of Cups reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed. All right, so social interactions are not going to be your thing right now. And what did I say at the beginning? We have Thanksgiving coming up. We're going to have these like 
kind of gatherings, family gatherings, social gatherings. And then we have the Knight of Swords reversed. Yeah, I'm feeling like there's, there's, again, I, that's definitely tied to the social. Um, there's, there's some social things going on and then you're just not feeling it. You're this, again, this is you trusting yourself and trusting your gut and taking care of yourself by listening to your intuition okay and if your intuition is telling you that you should not be doing this whatever this social interaction this whatever this is for you you know whether it's thanksgiving like maybe you've gotten a couple of invitations and one just feels better than the other don't split yourself in two to make other people happy the social is not for you this this time this time around this is definitely you focusing on you you being um kind of content with your emotions and taking care of yourself and definitely listening to your gut. This is not you putting yourself out there right now. That I feel like is is not a time where you feel comfortable putting yourself out there. And that reverse knight of swords, this is that fast talking used car salesman like coming in to just kind of like sweep you off your feet and doing it in so fast that you don't notice all the red flags. Okay. So in reverse, I feel like this is slow down. This is slow down. Um, you're there. There's not that, that like fast talking, rushing through things to get to the results this is slow down focus on you right now is not your time to be social you're not you're not supposed to be putting yourself out there right now right now is all about you focusing on you and slowing down um i feel like maybe you were kind of trying to rush some things and it's like hey whoa whoa like whoa there nelly um it's time to slow it down uh, let's see what else do we have here. What else does Cancer need to know? Is there anything else Cancer needs to know? Again, yep. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Taking a step back. Taking a step back. This is inactive. This is taking not no action. Uh, no action. Okay, now is not a time to take action. Um, I said that to somebody, I don't remember who it was in the full moon reading. Could have been you. Could have been you. Um, if I think about it and I have time, I will check back and see what video that was. But again, no action. This is not a, this is not the time. This is time for you to observe. Okay, this is observing what your next steps might be. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Don't sneeze. Everybody's been sick and it's been rough. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not taking action. And honestly, when I look at it, look at this card with the other cards is looking away from all the other cards. So this is definitely time to focus on something else. Slow down, observe, and not, now is not the time to be surrounding yourself with other people. Now is the time to be listening to your gut, listening to your intuition, following up with you know checking in with yourself and you know waiting for the answers to come to you and not rushing it all right do we have any advice for cancer is there any advice for cancer please okay yeah oh that's a lot of cards but they're face up i'm taking them all right we have the death card the eight of wands reversed Okay. Oh, sorry. Can't see it. Eight of Wands reversed. Judgment. Judgment has come out for everyone so far. Mm, a lot of judgment going on there. Six of Wands is reversed. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Advice. Let me give me just a couple of seconds because this is a lot of cards to put together for some advice here. All right. Hmm. Okay, so here's what I'm getting. Um, it's definitely time for something to end. Okay, so we had already, we had already focusing on yourself, trusting your intuition, listening to your gut, and really not being very social right now. Um, tr slowing down to, you know, kind of taking it all in and observing. This is the, you know, death, uh, death is the end of a cycle, which 
helps bring forth the beginning of a cycle. So, I, you know, I usually say that at the beginning of these videos. When we're talking about the new moon, we are starting a new cycle, but also it marks the end of the previous cycle. So, um, Eight of Wands for me is a cycle. This is more of a karmic cycle. It's a putting out, you know, getting back what you put out there. Um, but we have it reversed. So I feel like you're you're feeling like you're not getting what you're putting into something. Maybe that's why it's not the time to be social. Because you you don't you you know intuitively that it's not time for you to be putting energy into other people because you're not getting it back and you feel like you're just spending out of your energy bank and you're getting no return on your investment. Um, you're investing time in the, in, in other people, in other situations, and you're, you're investing your emotions and your energy into these things and you're not getting anything back. There's definitely something better that you're being called to. I feel like this judgment card is you being called into um, a different path. OK, um, and I feel like you might have to lose something. I feel like you might have to lose something. So we have the six of wands, which is normally the victory card in reverse. So the reverse of a victory is, of course, a loss. And honestly, the way I put it on the table is falls right below the death card. Death card. We have death and below that we have a loss. So I feel like there is something that is going to be lost here. Um not getting not getting back what you put into to a situation or many situations but um not you know it's it's slowing down and and taking time for yourself so that you can hear what your intuition is trying to tell you um there's there's a loss i think that comes with this um but with that loss comes a gain okay we have the a new path for you you're going to have to i feel like end one path to begin a new one and I feel like it's definitely a practical approach for you it's something that you're going to have to be very practical about I'm trying not to sneeze again um is it's I feel like you have to let go of something here um from the last cycle just you know there's something that you're holding on to that you're gonna have to let go of um, you're going to have to be okay with losing something be because you're, you're picking up momentum with your intuition and, and being called to something better. Okay. Um, something, something that is more practical for you, something that keeps you, um, safe. I feel like this is a safe person, um, you, you know, and this could represent a person that you're supposed to be helping or that is going to help you, okay? A guide, somebody in your life that can be um, of assistance and guidance for you. Um, somebody that's a little bit more experienced and mature um, could be somebody that you're, you need to partner with here is what I'm feeling. But again... You're trusting your intuition. You're not being super social. You're, you know, like you, you really are paying attention to those feelings that are yours, to your, your intuition slowing down and really, really assessing the situation before you jump in. There's something that you're going to have to let go of. You're going to have to, it, and it's going to feel like a loss. Okay. There's going to be a, you know, a feeling of defeat because you're not getting back you're not getting back what you're putting out there from whatever the situation is. And I feel like that's why you want to, that's why you need to slow down. That's why you need to not be so social and kind of really reassess the situation. But once that loss comes for you, I feel like it opens the door to a new, um, a new calling for you. You feel like you have more of a purpose. Um, uh, you know, this could be, as like a homemaker, you know, like there, there's really, this is, you know, the keeper of the hearth at home for me. Um, really, I mean, it could be about work, you know, pentacles, you know, the, the, the go-to thing with pentacles is your job, right? Your job and money. But I really feel like this is more about home and practicality when it comes to your home. There's a new purpose. I feel like that's going to be shown to you, um, that, that, has to do with that practical feeling of home 
Um, but there, it comes at a loss. There is a loss. But I feel like you're going to have to go through that loss in order to gain this, in order to gain this new perspective, in order to gain this new calling, this new purpose. But I feel like there is definitely another purpose out there um, that you have yet to be shown because you're going to have to go through this. This loss equals growth for you. So I'm going to go sneeze now. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking around this long. I will see you in your full moon video. Good luck to you. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself and trusting your gut. The rest will all fall into place. Uh, thank you so much again, and I will see you in the next video. As always, have a blessed day.